Baltic Amber, a beautiful gem and window into the ancient past. Karen here for Ozone Vine Art Ventures. Today we're peering deep within this incredible amber to behold fossils millions of years old. To wonder about these last moments of life suspended in time. To be amazed by crazy scenes growing within this detailed and delicate world. And to be completely bewildered by what we're seeing. Is it an insect? A seed? What do you think? We'll take some closer looks, but before you can look into the amber like a window, it takes some preparation. The amber bits have what's like a rind that needs to be removed before you can tell what's inside. And how do you even get the amber in the first place? Here's Yarek from the channel Amberscape. He's searching the Baltic seashores after a storm for the treasures. He catches seagrass in his net that may be holding the grand prize. There it is, a juicy piece of amber. Yarek generously sent me some amber to work with, but that's obviously not the beginning of the story either. It all started with a tree, actually. Not just any tree, a sap-bearing tree. That would be a pine from way back in the Eocene era. And just like the spider crawling along there, and these lichens and moss, the tree played host to many life forms. All the while oozing sap that would trap some of these plants and creatures preserving them. The years progress and the sap aged into amber, keeping this perfect record of the tree's organic company. Yadik sent me this particular piece of amber because it has this wonderful fossil twig inside, and he knows how much I love to study the ancient trees. This is likely a Pinus seconifera, so detailed you can see what looks to be a node and leaf scar. But that isn't nearly all that's contained inside this single piece of amber. I know you all want to see bugs, right? Well, here are some long legs dangling right here. It's our diptera. Diptera is the order of insects that includes flies, mosquitoes, crane flies, etc. The name diptera is derived from the Greek for two and pteron for wing, or two wings, as opposed to, say, four. These are very common finds in Baltic amber, if you're lucky enough to find bugs in yours. I'm not exactly sure of the species of this little guy. He's got long pelts as a distinguishing characteristic. Do you recognize this guy? Leave it in the comments if you do. As long as we're talking about things commonly found in amber, let's check out this other piece of amber containing a telltale that you've got genuine Baltic amber. These tiny inclusions can be seen with the naked eye and they look like mini multi-tentacled worms or micro octopuses. Don't believe me? Check this guy out. And this is one of the simpler ones. Here it is at 100 times magnification. Care to guess what we're looking at? Here's a really good one. The first one I saw, I thought for sure I had a spider. This one is really deluxe. What we're seeing is believed to be generated by yet another tree trichomes from an ancient oak tree to be exact. These trichomes are called stellate or stellate hairs. In modern plants, they're used as a defense mechanism against bugs and to help reduce the rate of water loss. It helps us imagine the ancient forest these trees were hanging out in. Speaking of forests, how do we know the species of the trees? Here's a piece of amber containing, you guessed it, the tree itself, only a thin section of it so you can actually see the cellular structure. Look at those golden grains. A thin section, kind of like this, is how scientists that analyze wood narrow down the features to arrive at an identification. We can clearly see the cell structure of the xylem and the rays of this tangential view. Amazing to be looking at an upwards of 50 million year old extinct tree in such nice condition. Okay, enough nerding out on cells, let's hunt for another bug. In that galaxy of bubbles rests an interesting critter. Just kicking back relaxing. This is probably an isopod, and finding one like this makes sense since wood lice, or those roly-poly pill bugs, are all part of that family. 
Feeding on wood and the fungus associated with it, this guy looks like he enjoyed his last meal for sure. When we view our modern pill bug under the microscope, the arrow points out a little mite crawling around on it. This might help explain some of the other scenarios we view in the amber. At first glance, it maybe looks like the mite is flying by, waving at the yard sale of parts of what might have been a cricket below, like, you okay, man? And the bug below waving back, I'm okay. But they might have had a more intimate relationship than that. And here's a more intimate look at that mite. Another spirited mite dashing through the amberscape. I can safely say, based on how many I have found, that there were plenty of these guys running around 50 million years ago. At the beginning of the video, we were wondering what this could be. An egg, a seed, an insect? Upon taking a closer look, are we seeing segments, eyes, and maybe even legs? And more interesting yet, what's that texture and those little hairs? Who is this? Whoever you are, you're keeping your secret for now. Let's check out the secret garden these insects and mystery items lived in. The landscape is otherworldly and fascinating. Scientists have found flora in the amber to reveal what was growing in the ancient forests among the trees. Like this ancient lichen that grows in these filaments and have serrations or groupings like the heads of wheat at the top. Each one of these is about 10 micrometers, so pretty small. And who do we have here? Looks like a little seed or spore or alien spacecraft. Your pick. It does bear likeness to some of our modern flora, so to be continued on IDing this one. This looks like an explosion caught in the action. Is this an egg sac unloading its payload? Perhaps releasing spores? Again, further investigation is needed here. Now watch as we change the field of view for these squirrely guys. What we're seeing are long filament type fungi-like capillaries. In fact, these meandering curly cues are believed to be fungides capillaris, according to the research of Robert Caspery. When I first spied these guys, I was sure they were little worms, but there were so many of them. Of course, there are little worms. Here's one of them. This tiny guy is about a millimeter long, but all by itself. This too is about a millimeter long. Care to venture what this is? It's just not a fossil show without seeing some fossil poop. We might also be seeing the leg there of the responsible party. We've seen some great looking legs and bodies, detailed eyes and palps, and wondered at things we haven't identified yet, all suspended in the amber and time. We have so much more trapped inside, a few more specimens of amber from Yarrick, so part two is coming. Thanks again to Yarrick of Amberscape for the amber and thank you for watching. For more information, check out ozonefineart.com and keep creating.